Our only hope is to remember that above all, God says we are to take up the shield. Every piece of spiritual armor must be responded to, just like we had to, remember last week, just like we had to call in the name of the Lord to be saved. We couldn't just think it, we couldn't just know about it, we couldn't just be around it. We had to call on the name of the Lord. God says the only way we're saved is not osmotically by osmosis, but us consciously calling on his name. So, in the same way you receive the Lord, calling on his name is the way you walk with him. When I'm faced with, with the choices in life, I have to call out to the Lord and say, be my shield. I want your way. I want to deny ungodliness. I want to live soberly and righteously and godly. I want you, God, more than my sin. Just as we called in the name of the Lord to be saved, so we respond to God's call to take and wear each piece. By the way, this last trio of pieces of armor are all introduced by those two words in verse 16, above all. And what it says is, above everything else, above the walk of peace, you know, the shoes uh, uh, shod with peace, and, and the, the truth belting us, and breastplate of righteousness surrounding us, above all that, that's kind of like, you have that just to be saved. But we have to consciously choose to take up the shield of faith. What does that mean? To look for God every time I'm tempted. He's the shield. I have to look to him. His word, I hear his voice. See, when we're tempted, God always promised that, that he will make a way of escape. And what he does is he reminds us, his word, just some part of it goes, boom, and we hear it. And in that moment, we have a choice to turn the direction that we heard the voice from toward God. Because it's his word that we just heard. So we have to turn away from the temptation toward the voice, toward God. And that's the shield of faith, looking for God when I'm tempted. The helmet of salvation is only what Christ has done for me. Next Sunday, we're going to start that, Lord willing. And we're going to look at the doctrines of salvation. And, and I need to operate, kind of like the hymn says, when Satan tempts me, in one area he tempts us to despair. When he reminds me of my guilt within, the helmet of salvation reminds me to look up and see him there. That's Jesus Christ who made an end to all my sin. The doctrine, the doctrines, there are actually seven key doctrines of our salvation are to be a helmet. They, they are to be the protection of our mind. This is our operating system, by the way. This is where our mind is. And they just, Scientific American just found 100 new zones in the brain they didn't even know about. They're mapping the brain. There's all this stuff they didn't even know about. It's so amazing and intricate. That's the, the material part of it. But within that, there's a non-material part that is our actual operating system that God designed. And he says, I want that surrounded, and I want you to put on and wear a knowledge of what Christ has done for you and live it out. So the helmet of salvation is living our operating system. The, the uh, shield of faith is, is this, this quick turning toward the voice of God and crying out to him when we're tempted. And then finally, the sword of the Spirit is using God's word surgically to, to actually combat sin and unbelief in my life. It's also, as Jesus points out, when he spoke the word to the devil, he fled from him. But... Very few times is the devil actually chasing me like a roaring lion. Most of the time he's igniting these lust, fed lusts that live within me, and I need to use God's word to combat sin in my life and unbelief in my life. And so we're going to look at that, but we must, we must take up the shield.